Whenever there's a need for noise suppression within raw images, we tend to think immediately of those subjects where a high ISO is the cause of that noise. Birds in flight are an obvious example where we need those very fast shutter speeds, but there's a lot more to noise suppression than just those images shot with a high ISO. In a recent video, I demonstrated the evolution of image editing, how it's now easier and faster to create top quality images with Photoshop and Lightroom using the masks and also the AI denoise. Noise suppression helps us to deal with those tricky and contrasty lighting conditions that often extend the amount of time we need to spend editing. Opened up into Adobe Camera Raw, I have an example here from a Mavic Pro 2 drone. Although the ISO was set here at 100, because of the smaller sensor in the drone, it does often mean that we have a little noise to deal with. Now, given the content of this image, there's not a great deal of fine detail we can zoom in on and take a look at, but we've got a boat in the foreground. So I'm gonna click and drag on that. I'm gonna take the picture up to about 200%. Remember when you're looking at any of these examples, you're seeing a slightly compressed image and one that's been posted onto YouTube and they will also have an effect. But here we can quite clearly see the noise. So I'm gonna to go to my detail tab here. And this is exactly the same in Lightroom as it is in Adobe Camera Raw. And I'm gonna click on the denoise. Now a panel's going to open up in the center of the screen and we can scroll around to get exactly the part we wish to view. So I can click and drag just to bring that boat into view. There you can see the little pop up there that says enhanced. As I click on the image, you can see the original. Now as I click and release, you can see quite a bit of difference here. But the important thing is to look at the edges of the boat. Look at that black top, which is probably some sort of shade sail. And we can see as the noise is applied that all of the edges are retaining their integrity. And that's vital, of course. What we have here is a an amount slider, and by default, it's usually around 50. Now, when we click Enhance, what the software does is create a copy of our entire raw file. You can see it working over on the right-hand side here. But the results it's had on this particular image is quite remarkable in my view. Now with the spinning round of the screen here, we're still viewing the image within Adobe Camera Raw, but I've opened up both examples. I've got the original before we've applied the AI denoise, and I've got the one after. You can also see that I've enlarged the image just a little bit more to around 257%. So here's the noise we have to deal with and let's change to the one where the noise has been effectively dealt with. Now, as I switch between the before and after images here, just bear in mind the size of the image we're viewing and also make some allowance for the compression that's going to be applied, especially when you upload to YouTube. But I hope you'll agree that the results are pretty good particularly when we look at those straight edges, because what we're looking for is when we apply the denoise, what damage is it doing elsewhere? If we're struggling to see any, that's a good result. Now, generally speaking, when we shoot birds in flight, we're looking for very fast shutter speeds, and that generally means we've got to push the ISO higher. I have to say that with modern cameras, and particularly the Canon R5, there's some mitigation of that with the image stabilization. 
And here you can see that I cranked the ISO up to 2500 and that allowed me to shoot with a 500 millimeter lens at one eight thousandths of a second. Now at this size it doesn't look too bad so let's make things a little worse by putting in quite a tight crop here. So let's do that by picking up the crop tool. I want to make sure that I unlock it because I want to adjust the aspect ratio a bit too. But I can click and drag over the bird because I want to make the most of its size within the frame. Maybe even a little rotation. Not too tight in the frame, maybe a little bit more to the left so it's got a bit of room to fly into, you get the idea. Let's hit the enter key. Now let's go to the zoom and we'll zoom to 200% and we'll look at the bird's eye, beak and the area here. We can quite clearly see the amount of noise we have to deal with. So let's go straight to the detail tab and click the denoise and allow Photoshop to do its best. And its best is going to be pretty good. So as we come over to the eye section of the bird, as we click, we can see the before and after. And once again, look at the edges of the beak and look at the edges of the eye. We can see that the noise is being very effectively dealt with. In fact, could I push it even further? Let's try it. Let's go up a little bit more. Click and back, click and back. Would I get away with that? I think I possibly would. When we click to enhance it, as before, we get a completely new version created. When you go into Photoshop's bridge or wherever you view your thumbnails, you find you've got the original plus the one that's had the denoise applied to it. This is a white-bellied sea eagle shot at Arkwright Point on the Sunshine Coast of Australia. Sometimes they can get this close even without the crop. But here we have a high ISO 2500. We also make matters a lot worse for ourselves by that severe crop. Yet I have a great quality image even when we zoom in. Now I'm not very easy to impress but combine this one click AI denoise with Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom masks and it's never been easier to get great results. AI denoise offers us a one click compensation for the smaller sensors that we may find in our drones. It also offers us help when the contrast range is so high that getting good exposure, even for an expert, is a challenge. It helps with the high ISO we often need for some of our subjects and birds in flight are pretty typical of this. But it also offers great help when we have a need to crop in a little tighter than we would like in an ideal world. I'll see you next time.